I'm gonna launch a Saturn V rocket in Blender, of course. Step one, fail at everything. In the beginning, I thought I knew what I wanted to make. I had a reference image and everything, but in reality, I didn't do enough research and so nothing really worked out and looked remotely good. So for now, I made my own rocket and then worked on the launch tower a little bit. I had a reference image, so I copied the reference image and it had this concrete block. You know, <laughs> you could see what I made the rocket sit on which are these blocks, which is absolutely not accurate. This is going further with the shot I wanted to make, but it had these trees in the foreground and also some houses, playing around with the lighting a little bit, also adding a concrete texture to the launch pad. But you can already see, I didn't really have an idea of what it was supposed to look like. And that shows quite a bit. So, you know, all this time I'm going like, oh my God, this is looking so bad. First I was hopeful, but you know, the more I worked on it, the less hopeful I became. I then tried texturing my rocket that I made. Yeah, you know, it just it didn't look good. So what I ended up doing is just replacing it with the Saturn V rocket. And another good thing about this is that the Saturn V launch pad and all its infrastructure is very nicely documented. So I'll have a lot of reference to go off of. I then decided that I needed to first model a bit of the environment because the current launch pad is so inaccurate, I can't even guess what the camera position is gonna be and what is going to be obscured in the future. So I just placed the camera on the side opened a reference image and started modeling. Making this launch tower here, working with the wireframe and triangulate modifiers. Then I'm making these connecting arms that you can also see in the reference, duplicating them up to be about at the same place as where the ones in the reference are. Also making this, I think that's where the crew enters the rocket. And also making the launch pad itself, adding these platforms to the legs because I think it's not very high resolution in the reference image, but I think... Then making the platform that this whole launch pad uh, thing is standing on and then cutting out some details like this slotted garage thing and the flame trench as well. I need to make the roof for this, I don't know, gas canister storage. I don't know what it is in the reference. Then I'm adding a lot of cables to the launch tower, duplicating some curves around that I gave some depth. Then I need to fill up these stories with uh, some stuff because it looked way too empty. So I added these railings, some random boxes, and then just duplicated them around the tower. Then also varying it for every story so it doesn't look duplicated. Then I'll search again for a camera position, which I feel like I can do better now. And once I find one, I start worrying about the simulation of the flames. So I added a particle system to these blocks that I added to the exhaust of the rocket, and then using them simulated some fire. Problem was it wasn't following the flame trench. So I added a wind force field and that blew out the smoke pretty nicely. So with that done, I'll texture the launch tower. You know, most of it is this metallic red. Some parts of it are white. And, you know, it's just variations of the same material over and over again. So not really interesting. But while I'm doing that, you can check out an add-on I made called Tree Machine. It's like a geometry nodes based tree generator with add-on. It's like this nice selector add-on. You can spawn the tree you want. I 3D scanned all the textures. So if you're interested in that, at all, please check it out. But anyways, with those textures mostly done, I'll add a street going away from both the, I don't know what it is, bottle, oxygen bottle storage, and also the flame trench. Then applying a material to the concrete structure that the launch pad is on, mixing together really a ton of concrete textures. I also wanted to add some displacement to the concrete block, but the problem with this is that due to the Boolean operations I did, the topology is horrible. So I went in with the knife tool and just like fix the topology like some parts I didn't fully fix but yeah I don't know it doesn't seem like a great way to me but I mean it worked I'm sure there are better ways to do this I don't just don't know them but after that I'll add more details I see in the reference image and then also making the second launch hour I'm not sure if this launch hour would be there during a launch because in some launch videos I checked out it wasn't there but I'm making it because I need like some secondary focal elements else it's just way too empty Again, I'm experimenting with the camera position, but what else is new? I'm also adding these gas canisters and these little round huts. You can see uh, in the reference, I'm looking at them and they're like scattered all over. I don't know what it is. Maybe it's some sort of storage. Here I'm checking out the smoke simulation that I let simulate the entire night. Um, and yeah, the wind is also acting way too high up, so it looks completely terrible. So I have to limit the amount of distance that the wind has an effect on. Then I re-simulate it and this is the result. Now I'm playing around with the lighting. I'm trying to go for that. I think there was a ending shot in the new Top Gun movie or what that has like this really golden look. So I added a atmosphere with some anisotropy and also in the color grade, I leaned into that golden look. But yeah, with that, 
it's done. So here is the final result. Thanks for watching and please consider subscribing.